I'm really gonna overcome a Protoss, a Maxi. Bro, my whole deck's dark. Protoss is like Dimension Shifter. Protoss is like Drool against my deck. It, it's unreal against my deck. My whole deck is dark. Today's video, I'm gonna show you guys the greatest Yu-Gi-Oh comeback since Yugi whooped Kaiba's ass, season one, episode one. Draw your last pathetic card so I can end this Yugi. The unstoppable Electromite. Yeah. In the history of all of Yu-Gi-Oh! Of all time! In Master Duel, and TCG, in anime, this is gonna be the greatest Yu-Gi-Oh! comeback you've ever seen. You're gonna wanna watch this video because it has everything to do with the best deck. And by the way, I would whoop Kaiba's ass in a duel and I'd for sure as shit beat Yu-Gi because Kaiba is the real main character. What did you say? Yugi sucks. Let's go. Also, yo, I combed my hair today. <laughs> Let's go. That's how you know this is going to be a good video. Let's go. And if you're excited to see the most incredible comeback of all time, smash the subscribe button. And this is our Master Duel. But for all my TCG players and Master Duel, if you want to get into TCG, check out the link below to get the best Yu-Gi-Oh! playmats and deck boxes while you can. I'm taking everything off the website very shortly. So make sure to go check it out while you can. Let's get straight into the video. The greatest Yu-Gi-Oh! comeback of all time. This has to be the craziest Yu-Gi-Oh! comeback of of all time this is a video you cannot miss let's go so in my hand i open the classic double spell book not the best but it's okay my opponent he is on sword soul now that's all good right sword soul doesn't pose too much of a threat what are they gonna do they're gonna put a bear and she shall black out maybe a hand trap i'm gonna eat through that board no problem it's a nice board i'm gonna eat through it ends up instead of baron going chi long that's actually worse that's really good for him because double interruptions, so that's worse for us. But he ends up searching Arch Nemesis Protos. Now, this is a card that sees a lot of play in Sword Soul. Some decks play it, some decks don't. But Protos has a lingering effect that no one knows about. Just kidding. Everyone knows about it. It's a lingering effect that basically I can't special dark monsters. I don't know if you guys knew this. Every card in Pendulum is fucking dark. How the fuck we play with Protos? And it's not just Protos that my man's going to have on board here. But it's going to be Protos. It's gonna be Shi Xiao, and it's gonna be double interruption Sword Soul Long Yuan here, which this this is a big problem. And he has a set. This is a big problem simply because this card will get rid of a, a scale and it'll get rid of a monster. And I literally cannot special darks. Like Hornet Drones is just dead. Souls is dead. Ascarf's dead. Oh, de I can't pen summon. I can't resolve servant. What servant gonna special abductor? Who gives a shit? Like I literally can't do shit. I I'm cooked. <laughs> so how are we gonna win this? I don't know. So I'm thinking deep in my in my deck. There's a few cards that might save me, and then we play defensive cards like talents and enemy controller for reasons like this. So let's see what we could end up doing. I secret it to knowledge. I have double spell books, so I don't want to normal summon the blue boy. If I normal the blue boy use effect, it will get hit with Shisha. But if I knowledge, then I could lose to blackout. It hits the knowledge and the blue boy, and I don't draw. So I'm like, all right, let's go for this. And I want to save my normal summon. And I end up drawing into Talents and Mighty Master. Now, Mighty Master is infinite, just literally just dead. It doesn't matter. I'm locked into Darks. Horn is dead. I'm basically playing with one triple tactics, Talents, and nothing else. So, and on top of that, I need to actually resolve a card first. Uh, Proto is going to be an issue. I search into Abductor. I'm like, all right, Abductor might be helpful. I normal Magician Souls, and I use the Souls effect for one. I can't even activate Hornet because I'm locked out of Darks. I'm like, this should be able to force something. Instantly, it forces the she -Xiao. I understand. He doesn't want me to see more cards. So he uses she -Xiao to negate my Magician Soul so I don't draw. Instantly, I go for Talents. And this is where I'm faced with the decision. Do I Talents take Long Yuan? Or do I take the Protos? What do I do in this scenario? Instantly, I recognize the win con. Instantly, he's going to banish for 1,200. And right away, I take the Protos... And I give him a taste of his own medicine. I use the Protos calling fire. Not that I cared about his, his Long Yuan card. I don't. But so I care about it on the following turn. So now he's locked out of fires. On top of that, he uses Maxi. I don't know why he does. Because I'm literally locked and all my shit's dark. But he had um, on his turn. He had Shi Xiao, Maxi, Long Yuan, Protos. And Long Yuan's double interruption. Five interruptions and they're big ass monsters and the biggest of all is Protoss. I have three dead cards in my hand right now. So what do I do? I put Protoss in attack position and I attack into Shishao, destroying his own Protoss. Putting me at 5300 because of a bunch of burn damage. And I'm thinking in my mind, the only way I lose this is if he top decks a high, uh, a high scale. Ha! <laughs> Too much random. If he top decks a Taiye. It's not even a Moye. 
that'll say Moye won't do jack shit because he is specifically just Taiye. That's the only car that could save his ass. Also, look at his banish. He has a Moye banished. Long Yuan's fire. He literally locked out of all Long Yuan. He locked out of level six Long Yuan, and he's locked out of a Synchro Ten Long Yuan because I called fire. He's getting a taste of his own medicine. I can't do anything. If I scale up Doctor and Mighty Master, I can't special Astrograph. Instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save my Astrograph as a defensive hand trap. When if he when he destroys my Magician Souls, I'm gonna special Astrograph to not die, and then I kill him in my turn. So I did the best that I could through the lock of Protos. I'm gonna pass. Literally draw anything but Taiye, and I win. Of course, the sickle that he is, he draws Pod Desires. I'm really gonna overcome a Protos, a Maxi. Bro, my whole deck's dark. Protos is like Dimension Shifter. Protos is like Dimension Shifter against Tier Limit, bro. Protos is like Drool against my deck. It, it's unreal against my deck. My whole deck is dark. She, it's like dimension barrier literally it's dimension barrier i can't pen some even with even worse i have to special souls i can't even like do i can't even go to my links that i want like dark would have been crazy no not access code nothing even crazier than deep barrier against pendulum that's how good protos is against pendulum she shall long one for two and a set back row now he didn't black out any time even though he like he didn't black out when he had a it could be blackout i think it's called by the grave I'm thinking uh, you have to look in his situation. What could he possibly have? It could be an imperm, could be a blackout, could be a call by the grave. I think it's a call by. He desires are the luckiest top deck in human history. Anything but Taiye and we're golden. What's he end up drawing? Ashina, which is still crazy because he could go at he could go at Hara. He go at Hara and at Hara and get the Moye. So now I'm just praying that the last card in your hand is not a worm. You worm. There's just no way. It would be the luckiest play in human history. Seriously, it would be the luckiest play in human history. My heart's skipping a beat here because what's he going to add? And he decides to add the Moye. I'm like, there's no, there's just simply no shot in human history that a man could be this lucky that literally desires at the Moye and a worm. He could have just desires at the Moye. I don't care. And he can't long you on, so I'm good. And what ends up happening? He didn't draw a worm. Ha! Let's go, baby. The power of Pendulum is too powerful. And he's going to do anything. So he had a way where he could have put almost game. This is 4,800 on board. Uh, I saw a way where he could have done a little bit more damage. If he went uh, Ashina into Vishuda, this would have at, le at least been 5,300 on the spot. So at least it would have pressured game. He doesn't know I have Astrograph, but he missed game on his end. He doesn't know I have Astrograph. But if he's... Oh, wait. Actually, wait. Ashina specials in defense, right? So we should have banished Ashina, special of a shooter in defense. Sorry, in attack position. And then that would have been 5,300 exactly. But when he attacks with one monster, I use Astrograph, so I wouldn't die. But from his end, he should have. Instantly on that, I special Astrograph uh, to add another Magician Souls. Uh, attacks 1,000, putting me at 3,300. I only have to deal with one Shishao and one whatever back row that might be. I draw into Curtain Razor. I'm like, all right, I hard lose to Blackout, but he would have used Blackout last turn. He had a Monk on the field, so he should have used Blackout last turn. So I'm playing around Call by the Grave and Imperm. Those are the only cards it could possibly be. Uh, summons out Curtain Razor. This is going to go Magician Souls. Dark right away. I'm like, all right, I think this should bait something. I, I don't want to be on the Pendulum for that reason. Also, he has Shisha, so I'm expecting this to get hand trapped. So all I'm trying to do is set up scales. That's a Spellcaster. If I go beyond the Pendulum, that's 1000% getting interrupted. But if I just go into a dark, it gives me an opportunity now to go into a free Selene, which will get interrupted. But now I have a link three. Easier way to kill him. Uh, so I'm going to go into dark thinking it's going to get stopped. He stops it because I go Protos. Protos, which is called light, and he'll be cooked. So he's forced to do it. That's fine. Uh, next, I'm going to scale Mighty Master. And now I'm going to Pendulum 2. So I Pendulum Curtain Razor and Astrograph. My point is, right now, he's cooked. I'm going to take those two and go into Electromite. Why do I do that? Is because I'm trying to see what he has. If he has an Imperm, he has to Imperm Electromite or he loses. If he does not Imperm Electromite, he loses the game. I'm, that's what I'm doing. My end goal is simple. Selene. My end goal is to, once he Imperms Electromite, Electromite and Dark Charm are going to Selene. Selene, Special Reflection. Reflection, not even use effect. Doesn't matter. Uh, and uh, the, actually, yeah, yeah. Reflection, use effect, Bounce Abductor. Mighty Master, destroy his entire board. And then Absolute Cross Sheep Vortex uh normal that's game oh it's otk so what happens with electromite i use electromite i get astrograph he has no ant trap that's game it was called by the grave the whole time gg 
What a fucking comeback through five interruptions. And if you guys didn't see game, how that was, it was special Astrograph, add Mighty Master, and then go into Selene, then it's special with Selene, then go to Axis Code Talker, and then Mighty Master, before Selene's on the field, Mighty Master blow the whole, his whole board up. Set up Mighty Master. I would then have Mighty Master, Astrograph, Electro Might, Axis Code. Back from game. GG! What a comeback. Through Protos, through Maxi, through Long Gone for two, which is huge against Pendulums because double interruption, and she shall and call by the grave that's through six interruptions we came back and win the game let's fucking go pen best deck baby if you guys got this far smash the subscribe button smash the like button i'll see you guys in the next video peace